Google Keep brings better notes and tasks for Android and the web. iOS 6.1.3 doesn't seem to fix the lock screen bypass issues. And Pandora finally makes it to Windows Phone 8. I'm Jaime Rivera. Looking at you, Joe Belfiore, where's my VPN support for Windows Phone 8? This is Pocket Now Daily. Google Keep. You know, there was actually no way for us to write that down on the post and not make it sound like if we wrote it wrong. But that's Google's new service for note taking on Android and the web. It allows you obviously to sync notes on the web and take photographs on notes and obviously also get voice notes and do almost everything that Evernote already does for free. But the cool thing is that on Google Keep, you'll also be able to turn these notes into tasks. For those of you that have ever heard of the application called Awesome Note, it's sort of the same functionality. Obviously, Obviously, this also brings you a very cool Google-like new UI, and it's obviously free, so make sure you download it. And you know, I do believe that Joe Belfiore was watching our Pocket Now Daily just a couple of days ago. Pandora for Windows Phone 8 was finally released, and it's got a really cool design, and even better, it gives you a full year of the premium service for free. Make sure you watch Michael Fisher's full walkthrough on the service, though obviously you are limited to only 40 hours a month, and if you think of it, that's actually not that bad. But obviously, Joe Belfiore, when are we getting our VPN service on Windows Phone 8? Just think about it, I think even dumb phones have that service now and uh, we still can't get that on the corporate giant smartphone. And then let's move on to iOS. For those of you that are still on the ropes about iOS 6.1.3, do not update. It has just been confirmed that the service does not fix the lock screen bypass issues that people were complaining about for it came to security. Apparently all it did was really cancel the jailbreak. So if you're out there to still jailbreak your device, make sure you wait for iOS 6.1.4 to get out there to actually fix the lock screen issues and also give you a jailbreak if the dev team can figure that one out. But also for those of you that were wondering when Google now will make it to iOS, well, Eric Smith just came on record to state that the only reason it's not there well, he wasn't that specific, but he kind of mentioned that it takes a long time for Apple to actually approve applications, and that's the reason why it's not there, so stay tuned. Now let's continue talking about iOS products. Usually iPads are launched by the end of May or early April, and then we've got the iPhone that's recently being launched in the fall, at least for the past two generations. But recent rumors have that Apple will be launching their iPhone 5S and their iPad 5 at June 29th. And since we still don't know the dates for WWDC, that could make sense though. Again, these are just rumors and that's probably just Apple trying to return to the spotlight after all the Android news this week. And finally, for the skeptical news of the day, a lot of people are worried about Android merging into Chrome OS after Andy Rubin's departure from Android. And well, the reason why is because Chrome OS hasn't really taken off and the current pretty much VP of Android is the VP of Chrome OS, that operating system that's never taken off. And obviously, for those of you that are worried, Eric Smith also came on record to state that this is not happening. Android and Chrome OS are gonna be separate, but that leads me to the question of the day. Would you like Android to merge into Chrome OS or the other way around? In my particular case, I would love it for Android to work on computers. I would love it for them to figure out a way to make it work on other architectures and have Android applications and Android services and the whole mobility of Android come to computers in the future and not turn it into a web browser because Chrome OS is a web browser. So leave us a comment down below. What would you prefer? And yes, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top of the world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.